culture that erected huge stone structures like the Egyptian pyramids and the temples of the Aztecs? Does the answer lie in the mysterious Kaimanawa stone wall buried deep in the forest near Taupo? While geologists still wonder whether it's a natural rock formation or not, later this month, archaeologists will begin excavating around it. The Kamanawa Wall, located in the dense Kamanawa Forest of New Zealand's North Island, has long been a subject of intrigue, sparking debates and inspiring numerous theories about its origin. There's two schools of thought at the moment. One, that it's a natural occurrence, and one, that the blocks of rock have been placed here by some early civilization. The wall's discovery and subsequent study have raised more questions than answers, fueling speculation about its purpose and the people who might have built it, if indeed it is man-made at all. They have said that this is beyond our time. They were here 2,000 years ago and were brought here by people. The Kaimanawa Wall was first brought to public attention in the early 1990s by Barry Brailsford, a historian and author with a deep interest in New Zealand's indigenous cultures. Brailsford, along with a small team of explorers, stumbled upon the structure while investigating local Maori legends that spoke of ancient stone constructions hidden deep within the forest. However, the wall's existence had likely been known to local hunters and bushmen for some time, as the area was popular for hunting and trekking. The wall itself is a roughly 10 meter tall structure composed of large, smooth, megalithic stone blocks, seemingly fitted together with precision. The blocks, which appear to be rectangular and meticulously arranged in horizontal courses, resemble the kind of stonework associated with ancient megalithic structures found in other parts of the world, such as the Inca walls of Sacsayhuaman in Peru or the Cyclopean walls of Mycenae in Greece. And the rocks themselves bend in a sort of a semicircle around, it may be the shape of some sort of structure. What makes the Kaimanawa wall so mysterious is the uncertainty surrounding its origins, unlike other megalithic structures around the world which have been studied extensively and often linked to known ancient civilizations. The Kaimanawa wall exists in a region with no known history of large-scale stone construction. The indigenous Maori people, who have inhabited New Zealand for over a thousand years, are not known to have built anything resembling this kind of stonework. This has led to much speculation about the wall's builders, with theories ranging from a forgotten pre-Maori civilization to natural geological formations misinterpreted as man-made. When Brailsford and his team first reported the wall, they were met with skepticism from the academic community. Many geologists and archaeologists were quick to dismiss the wall as a natural formation, arguing that the stones were simply a result of volcanic activity, with natural processes such as erosion and faulting giving the appearance of man-made construction. However, this explanation did little to quell the public's fascination with the wall, and amateur archaeologists and alternative historians began to propose more exotic theories. One of the most intriguing aspects of the Kaimanawa wall is the precision of the stonework. The blocks are estimated to be up to two meters long, one meter high, and one meter deep, with some weighing several tons. The largest blocks are comparable in size to those used in the construction of Stonehenge or the Great Pyramid of Giza, leading to speculation that they could not have been moved or placed without advanced technology or the coordinated efforts of a large workforce. Despite the skepticism from some quarters, the wall's discovery has led to further exploration of the area, revealing additional stone formations that could suggest a larger, more complex structure buried beneath the forest floor. These formations include what appear to be terraces, steps and other features that are difficult to explain through purely natural processes. Another interesting fact is the wall's orientation. The structure is aligned with the cardinal points, with its longest side facing north, which some researchers believe could indicate a deliberate design, possibly for astronomical or ceremonial purposes. This alignment, combined with the wall's scale and precision, has led to comparisons with other ancient megalithic sites around the world, further fueling theories that it could be evidence of an unknown ancient culture. The stone blocks that make up the Kaimanawa wall are massive, with an average size of around two meters by one meter by one meter. Each block is estimated to weigh between three to five tons, depending on its exact dimensions and the density of the stone. To put this into perspective, the average weight of a block used in the construction of the Great Pyramid of Giza is around two and a half tons, 
while the largest stones used in Stonehenge weigh up to 30 tons. This makes the Kaimanawa wall stones relatively large compared to many other ancient constructions, particularly given the lack of evidence for large-scale stone quarrying or construction in pre-colonial New Zealand. The sheer size and weight of these stones raise significant questions about how they were moved and placed, especially in a dense forest environment with limited access to the kinds of tools and technologies typically associated with megalithic construction. A structure that would create so much controversy, a great number of theories would be created as to the very nature of its existence. The absence of any obvious quarry sites nearby also adds to the mystery, as it is unclear where the stones were sourced from or how they were transported to their current location. One of the most popular alternative theories suggests that the wall is evidence of a pre-Maori civilization that possessed advanced knowledge of stone construction. Proponents of this theory argue that the wall could be the remains of a temple, fortress or other significant structure built by this lost civilization. However, mainstream geologists argue that the wall is a natural formation, the result of a process known as columnar jointing. This process occurs when lava cools and contracts, forming hexagonal or rectangular columns that can appear to be artificially constructed. While this explanation accounts for the wall's appearance, it does not satisfy those who point to the precision and alignment of the stones as evidence of human involvement. Determining the age of the Kaimanawa wall has proven to be a significant challenge, primarily due to the lack of organic material associated with the structure that could be radiocarbon dated. Without direct evidence, researchers have had to rely on indirect methods such as geological dating of the surrounding rock formations and the examination of any possible weathering patterns on the stones. Some researchers have suggested that the wall could be several thousand years old, possibly predating the arrival of the Maori in New Zealand around 1,000 years ago. This theory aligns with the idea that the wall is the work of a pre maori civilization, although there is no direct evidence to support this claim. Others argue that the wall could be much younger, potentially the result of natural processes occurring within the last few thousand years. One of the most intriguing theories about the Kaimanawa wall is that it was part of an ancient ceremonial or astronomical site. The wall's alignment with the cardinal points, combined with its apparent precision, has led some researchers to suggest that it could have been used for observing celestial events, such as solstices or equinoxes. This would place it in the same category as other megalithic sites around the world that are believed to have served as ancient observatories. Another theory is that the wall was part of a defensive structure, perhaps a fortress or a boundary wall used to protect a settlement or sacred site. This theory is supported by the wall's imposing height and the apparent difficulty in accessing the site which would have made it an ideal location for a fortified structure. Some have even suggested that the wall could be a remnant of an ancient roadway or causeway, possibly used for transporting goods or people through the dense forest. This theory is based on the wall's straight, linear design, which could indicate that it was part of a larger network of roads or pathways. One of the most mysterious aspects of the Kaimanawa wall is the lack of any similar structures in New Zealand or the wider Polynesian region. While there are numerous examples of stone construction throughout the Pacific, including the famous Moai of Easter Island and the Marae of Tahiti, none of these sites resemble the megalithic style of the Kaimanawa wall. This has led some researchers to speculate that the wall could be evidence of a migration or cultural exchange between New Zealand and other parts of the world, possibly as far afield as South America or Southeast Asia. One particularly interesting theory suggests that the wall could be linked to the ancient legends of Mu or Lemuria, hypothetical lost continents that are said to have once existed in the Pacific Ocean. Proponents of this theory argue that the wall could be a remnant of an advanced civilization that was destroyed in a cataclysmic event, leaving only a few scattered ruins behind. Another coincidence that has fueled speculation is the similarity between the Kaimanawa wall and certain structures in Japan, particularly the megalithic site of Yonaguni, which lies submerged off the coast of Japan. The Yonaguni structure, like the Kaimanawa wall, is composed of large, precisely cut stone blocks arranged in a manner that suggests human involvement. Some researchers have suggested that these similarities could indicate a shared cultural or technological origin, possibly dating back to a time when sea levels were lower and these regions were more closely connected. 
In addition to the Kaimanawa Wall, there have been other intriguing discoveries in the surrounding area that could shed light on the region's ancient history. For example, researchers have found numerous petroglyphs and carvings in the central North Island, some of which depict strange humanoid figures and symbols that do not appear to be of Maori origin. These carvings have led some to speculate that they could be the work of a pre-Maori culture, possibly the same one responsible for the Kaimanawa Wall. Comparisons between the Kaimanawa Wall and other megalithic structures around the world have also provided some intriguing insights. For example, the wall's construction technique bears some resemblance to the Inca stone walls found in Cusco, Peru, where large irregularly shaped stones are fitted together without the use of mortar. While the Kaimanawa wall stones are more regular in shape, the precision with which they are fitted together is comparable, leading some researchers to suggest that similar techniques or knowledge could have been used.